Hello, you're watching the news from Bahrain International. I'm Samar Ajawi. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa sent a cable of congratulations to the Emir of Kuwait, Sheikh Nawaf Al Ahmed Al Jabir Al Sabah. On his country's national day, His Majesty extended his wishes of good health and happiness to the Emir of Kuwait and further progress and prosperity to the people of Kuwait under his leadership. His Majesty the King praised the deep-rooted relations between the two countries and people and their progress across all areas. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa sent a cable of congratulations to the Emir of Kuwait, Sheikh Nawaf Al Ahmed Al Jabir Al Sabah, on his country's national day. His Royal Highness extended his wishes of good health and happiness to the Emir of Kuwait and further progress and prosperity to the people of Kuwait under his leadership. His Royal Highness praised the deep-rooted relations between the two countries and people and their progress across all areas. His Royal Highness also sent a similar cable to the Crown Prince of Kuwait, Sheikh Mish'al Al Ahmed Al Jabir Al Sabah, and the Prime Minister of Kuwait, Sheikh Sabah Al Hamad Al Sabah. The first deputy president of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, president of the General Sports Authority, and president of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, received the president of the International Sports Federation for Schools, Lauren Patrinka, in the presence of the deputy president of the GSA, His Highness Sheikh Salman bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, and the Minister of Youth and Sports Affairs, Mr. Tawfiq Al Muayyad. His Highness affirmed that Bahrain took pioneering steps in the field of school sports through several plans and programs. He praised the role of Patrinka in supporting school sports and creating the perfect atmosphere for students in this regard. He discussed with the guests the ways to further bolster the joint cooperation and coordination to achieve more successes and more achievements in different ways. The Speaker of the Council of Representatives, Fawzia bint Abdullah Zainal, has affirmed the advanced level reached by the fraternal Bahraini Kuwaiti relations thanks to the wise leadership of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and His Highness Sheikh Nawaf Al Ahmed Al Jabir Al Sabah, the Emir of Kuwait. In a congratulatory cable to her Kuwait National Assembly counterpart, Mr. Marzouk Ali Al Ghanem, marking Kuwait's national days, the Speaker, Zainal, expressed deep pride in the great role played by the state of Kuwait to strengthen the Gulf Cooperation Council and Arab solidarity, serve Arab and Islamic issues, and strengthen the pillars of security and stability in the Gulf region and the world. The Representatives Council also sent a similar cable to Kuwait's ambassador to Bahrain, Sheikh Thamer Jabir Al Ahmed Al Sabah. In her cable, she wished the brotherly Kuwaiti people and leadership further progress and prosperity. The Shura Council Chairman Ali bin Saleh Al Saleh sent a cable of congratulations to Kuwait's National Assembly Speaker Mr. Marzouk Al Ghanem on Kuwait's National Days. Mr. Al Saleh praised the strong ties between the two countries and wished Kuwait and its people further progress and prosperity. The Chairman highlighted the levels of cooperation and coordination reached between the two parliaments in all forms. He sent a similar cable to Kuwait's Ambassador to Bahrain, Sheikh Thamer Jabir Al Ahmed Al Sabah. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr. Abdul Latif bin Rashid Al Zayani, held a meeting with the Minister of Foreign Affairs and Trade of Hungary, Peter Hayarto, as part of his official visit to the Kingdom of Bahrain alongside his accompanying delegation to participate in the Bahrain Hungary Joint Economic Commission. The meeting discussed the solid friendly relations between Bahrain and Hungary and the ways to strengthen bilateral cooperation in various political, economic, and development fields. The two ministers also highlighted political and security developments in the region, as well as regional and international issues of common interest. They also shed light on the importance of consolidating friendly relations between the two countries and further advancing joint cooperation for the benefit of the two friendly countries and people. The meeting was attended by the Foreign Ministry Under Secretary for Political Affairs, Dr. Sheikh Abdullah bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, the Ambassador of the Kingdom of Bahrain to Hungary, residing in Berlin, Mr. Abdullah Abdul Latif Abdullah and the Chief of the European Affairs, Mr. Ahmed Ibrahim al Granis. The Bahraini-Hungary Joint Economic Commission was held yesterday 
The meeting was headed by the Minister of Foreign Affairs, Rabbi Latif Rashid Aziani, and the Minister of Foreign Affairs and Trade of Hungary, Peter Sayarto, with the participation of a number of senior officials representing both sides. At the beginning of the meeting, Dr. Zayani welcomed the Hungarian delegation, affirming keenness of Bahrain to strengthen and develop bilateral relations. He noted the high-level visit of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa to Hungary in 2019, which solidified the future of a high-level strategic bilateral partnership and achieved constructive outcomes in terms of bilateral cooperation between the two countries. The Minister of Foreign Affairs referred to the agreement reached by the governments of the two countries regarding mutual recognition of the COVID-19 vaccination and certificates approved in 2021, stressing the contribution of this agreement to strengthening the relations between the two countries. He also expressed his aspiration for constructive discussion as an opportunity to explore areas of joint cooperation, especially in the fields of trade, investments, health, energy, technology, and tourism, and to activate existing agreements and memoranda of understanding. For his part, the Hungarian minister expressed thanks to the Bahraini side for the warm welcome and generous hospitality accorded to him and his delegation. He stressed the need to further boost relations of friendship and cooperation between the two countries. The first meeting of the Bahraini-Hungary Joint Economic Commission focused on strengthening the bilateral ties, cooperation between the two countries in various fields including economic, trade, investment, energy, science, technology, information, agriculture, health, higher education, youth and sports, culture and tourism. At the conclusion of the meeting, the two ministers signed a memorandum of understanding for the joint cooperation in the field of diplomatic training. And the Minister of Foreign Affairs and his Hungarian counterpart then signed an MOU between the Mohammed bin Mubarak Al Khalifa Academy for Diplomatic Studies and the Hungarian Diplomatic Institute in the field of joint diplomatic training. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr. Abdel Latif bin Rashid Al Zayani, and the Hungarian Minister of Foreign Affairs and Trade, Peter Siarto, held a press conference. Dr. Al Zayani made a press statement in which he welcomed the Hungarian ministers expressing his pleasure in welcoming him and his accompanying delegation to the Kingdom of Bahrain. And he highlighted that the first meeting of the Bahraini-Hungary Joint Economic Commission came as an activation of the Memorandum of Understanding, MOU, in the field of economic and technical cooperation between the two friendly countries. The minister noted that the meeting was constructive and will undoubtedly contribute to supporting the joint cooperation between the two countries, adding that the two sides had studied ways to strengthen the bilateral cooperation in various fields. These included the trade and investment sector, specifically in financial services, transportation, information, technology, energy, and petroleum sector, the science sector, and the exchange of research in scientific and informational aspect, in addition to the agricultural sector. He stressed joint cooperation in youth and sports. As well as tourism and culture and it was also agreed that the two countries would exchange a number of programs common and diverse in this regard. The minister expressed his confidence that the talks would expand and develop the friendship and cooperation for the benefit of the two friendly countries and people. He commended the development that Hungary is witnessing and the important role that Hungary plays in the European economic growth stressing that Bahrain has a business-friendly investment environment. The Hungarian minister expressed delight at visiting Bahrain, adding that he is the first Hungarian foreign minister to visit the kingdom. For his part, the Hungarian minister, Peter Siarto, expressed pride in visiting the kingdom of Bahrain as he is the first Hungarian foreign minister to visit the kingdom. During the talks with the foreign minister, he stressed that the security and stability of the Middle East and the Gulf region is linked to the security and stability of Europe, praising the prominent role of the Kingdom of Bahrain in supporting peace and stability in the Gulf region and the Middle East, and its signing of the Abraham Accords and the declaration of peace with the State of Israel. He also expressed his thanks to the Kingdom of Bahrain for its assistance to Hungary during the coronavirus COVID-19 pandemic, noting that Bahrain was proactive in using vaccines and experiences were exchanged in this regard, and that the vaccination campaign helped Hungary's economy overcome the repercussions of the virus. Furthermore, 
The Hungarian minister indicated that the trade balance between the two friendly countries has increased by 40%, noting that there is great interest from Hungarian companies in the Bahraini market. Bahrain has reviewed its first report before the International Covenant on Economic, Social and Cultural Rights Committee during a virtual meeting today. The national delegation headed by the Ministry of Foreign Affairs and comprising representatives from all relevant entities in the Kingdom participated in the meeting. Bahrain's permanent representative to the United Nations and the World Trade Organization WTO in Geneva and head of the delegation Dr. Youssef Abdel Karim Bouchiri said the Kingdom is following a correct development approach and a clear vision. The ambassador referred to Bahrain's efforts in combating COVID-19 as a health care is of great interest to the Kingdom because it is among the priorities of the government's development programs. He noted that the Kingdom has consistently applied this priority in the context of COVID-19 pandemic and under the principle of health for all in line with its obligations under the Kingdom's constitution that guarantees the right to health care for all. Mr. Bouchiri said Bahrain has maintained a balance between security and development in a stable environment confronting terrorist acts within the law and the values of human rights while continuing with steady steps in the process of development and directing efforts and resources to serve the well-being of citizens and residents. The Gulf Health Council concluded the activities of HealthCon, which lasted for three days in Dubai within the initiatives of Expo 2020 at the pavilion of the General Secretariat of the Gulf Cooperation Council. Students from all Gulf countries presented their creative ideas before the jury to be evaluated for the three campaigns, the psychological health campaign for the elderly, the dangerous electronic cigarette campaign, and the drug campaign. The main health con award in its first season was won by the students from the Kingdom of Bahrain for the campaign of the dangers of e-cigarettes. The Gulf Health Council will adopt all the ideas of their participating students during its upcoming campaigns and they will be included in its awareness plan for the three campaigns included in the HealthCon initiative. The national vaccination campaign continues to witness a wide turnout of citizens and residents. The Ministry of Health announced that a total of 1,230,451 had taken the first dose of the vaccine, while 1,209,610 had taken the second dose and 962,186 had taken the booster dose. The ministry renewed its call for the community to commit to all precautionary measures and take the initiative to register for the coronavirus vaccination. The Ministry of Health said today that the number of active coronavirus cases reached 28,815 with 401,019 uh, recoveries, 2,732 new registered cases and three deaths. There are 69 active cases receiving treatment and 16 patients in critical condition. Bahrain has recorded 1,447 total deaths while 474,113 have recovered from the virus. The ministry offers its deepest condolences to the families of the deceased and urges everyone to comply with the guidelines issued by the National Task Force for combating the coronavirus. And now to speak more about the development of the health precautionary measures to prevent the spread of COVID-19, we're joined on the phone by the public health consultant, Dr. Maram Asharbati. Good evening, doctor. And can you tell us about the updated protocol for the suspected cases and your advice to deal with the current health situation in the kingdom? Uh, good evening. Uh, the update of a protocol uh, for contact, uh, contact and the, the active cases starting from 20 February 2022, and it's from the National Medical Task Force. The context of active cases will no longer have to undergo a precautionary period of, of isolation, whatever the shield color are. The test will be only done for individuals in, uh, experiencing any COVID-19 related symptoms like the rainy nose, cough, fever, or uh, fatigue. Conducting a rapid test if the result is positive, the individual must head directly to one of the drive through uh, testing centers, uh, either in Saya region or Awali or Salman town. 
uh, to conduct a PCR test. The second option to conduct uh, a PCR test uh, at a private hospital or to book an appointment for PCR test via the AWARE application or call 444 to book an appointment for PCR test. And all this for symptomatic individuals. Uh, and all passengers arriving in Kingdom of Bahrain uh, by, via either uh, King Fahad Causeway or from uh, the airport are not required to present a PCR test uh, for the entry. And there is cancellation of uh, all the professionary quarantine uh, for all passengers arriving in Kingdom of Bahrain. And as you said, uh, to uh, advise to complete the vaccination against COVID-19 with the booster shot. This is uh, the update. Thank you, that, thank you, doctor. That was very uh, wise advices for our viewers. Thank you again for joining us.